Hey guys, it's Avery. <coughs> hey guys, it's Avery. So, right now the sun's going down. So hopefully this video won't have really bad lighting. And I got a new phone and I'm recording on it because I don't know if you remember, but I bought a new camera to make YouTube videos. And then I almost immediately sold it to buy a skateboard, which I don't use. So that was a really good decision. Yeah, we're gonna need that light on, even though it makes my teeth look yellow, it's fine. So basically I'm really impatient and I didn't wanna wait to film this. I'm really excited because I'm trying out new makeup products. I don't really what I'm, know what I'm gonna call this cause it's not a full face of new products, but it's close to a full face of new products. And I just bought like a bunch of m cute makeup, which is basically my favorite thing ever. So, I'm gonna start by moisturizing my face, and this isn't new. This is the Milk Pong, or Blur Pong Peach Milk Blur by Peri Para. This is what I always use on my face. So, I'm gonna start with that. And I'm just really excited to use these products. Most of them are either from Riley Rose or um, like Amazon. I need to try this new primer. This is the NYX Pore Filler. And hopefully this will be good because I really need a, a nice pore filling primer. And it, it kind of feels like there's not much product in here for some reason. Like, it feels like I've been using it for a while even though it's brand new. I've never opened it. But I just feel like my makeup never looks smooth and it's probably because I don't use a good primer. Because this is technically a primer but it doesn't like fill your pores or anything. It's more like a moisturizer. My lips look awful. I have this BB cream by Misha. And if you're wondering why I have two, then you would be very similar to me in that I also wondered why I had two when I got them because they were $6 apparently I bought two and I was like, oh my God, like score, they sent me two on accident, but no, I bought two on accident. So it's my freaking loss, I guess, but hopefully I like it. I don't really know which one I'm gonna try because I actually have two face products. So this is the first one, this is the BB cream. It's the cutest packaging ever. Hopefully it will match my skin. Right now I have a fake tan on. You probably can't tell because I'm just a pale person. So when I'm fake tan, I look pale my neck is very blotchy it just honestly when I fake tan it's it's only good for like a day but it helps foundations match me that's for sure this is the other one I have this so this is the Misha magic cushion cover and these two things are the same shade so hopefully they both match me um this is what the cushion looks like and then this again is the BB cream that has the cutest packaging ever so I'm gonna maybe do the BB cream on one side of my face and the cushion on the other and just kind of compare them and see what they look like because I'm really just making this video to test out these products so I'm opening this up and then I gotta remove this sticker it's kind of hard to do with my nails Okay, this looks pretty dark, but I think it's gonna be lighter once I actually put it on my face. And I'd rather it be dark than too light because I can fake tan. So let's try it. This is, okay, this is actually like a perfect amount for my skin. I can already tell I'm gonna like this. And I don't know how much I love this thing, but I like the idea that it's in the pack and you can like put it on without having to carry around like an extra little makeup tool, if you know what I'm saying. Obviously, you know what I'm saying. That was not hard to understand. I just cannot talk. Okay, guys. Honestly... This might be my new favorite foundation, depending on how it wears, because it's it's not making my skin look dry. It matches me, like, really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my other side and see what it looks like. 
compared to that. I'm just gonna use a little bit and tap it on my skin and rub it in. And I'm using my fingers one because this is a BB cream and I'm trying to like build kind of like a quick face of makeup that I can just like do really easily if I'm going somewhere like to work so I don't look so dead or something instead of just wearing no makeup. So that's why I'm just kind of like trying to do some, have something that works with my fingers or like that pad so that it's like, I can kind of just do it quickly. This is really nice too. Actually, whoa, that looks really pretty. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but compared to like what I looked like before, I think I look like so much more awake on this side, even though this is such a sheer coverage BB cream. Like it just looks evened out and like healthy and awake. And that's like everything I really wanted, you know what I mean? I love both of these products. And this, I think the cushion was like maybe $13. Like I don't think I would have to set this foundation and I definitely wouldn't have to like both of them feel like skin like they're not sticky my back hurts so bad oh yeah and people might ask me where I got this tank top it's from Brandy Melville I'm kind of happy that I have two of these now because th this one was only six dollars kids um the only thing is terrible shade range absolutely awful I'm going to try this concealer and this is from Winky Lux. I'm kind of scared this will be a little dark for me. I'm not sure how much it costs. Costs? I'm not sure how much I paid for this. <laughs> uh, it was probably around $10 or like $15. I'm going to take this concealer. I'm going to put the tiniest bit on my hand. I don't want to waste it. I'm going to put it on my finger and put it under my eye. And this was the lightest shade in this concealer, which that's a lot, always a problem for me, is trying to find a concealer that's light enough to highlight under my eyes with. I can't tell if it's the lighting or not, but it kind of looks darker than my foundation. Let me turn off this light really quick. No, it's not too dark. So yeah, I like this concealer. This is the Winky Lux Peeper Perfect. Is that what it says? Peeper Perfect Under Eye Concealer. Wow. Next, I'm gonna use this cute little thing. This is the Tony Molly Cat Wink Cat's Wink Clear Packed. And I'm gonna use this to set my under eyes. This look at this packaging. I'm like I'm such a sucker for this shit, I swear, but it's fine. Um, once again, I'm gonna use this even though that's honestly not the best way to apply this product, I'm sure of it, but I'm gonna try it just because, in theory, if I'm carrying this around, I don't want- sorry if you, if you see like all my food back there waiting for me to eat it, I had to make this video first, but if I'm carrying this around and I want to set my makeup, I don't want to have to carry a brush with it, so we're gonna see if this does a decent job. There's a paw print in there. I'm gonna try to set my face, or my under eyes at least. And I wonder if this has a shade number. This is number zero one. It set my under eyes like pretty well. It's soft. It did the job. <coughs> <coughs> so far, we're on a good streak of products because I love all of these. I am going to do my normal eyebrows. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow gel and it's my favorite. I actually don't have a bronzer so maybe I should bronze my face using a bronzer I have. Okay, so next I'm gonna use this Peripera Cushion Blush. This is the shade Lively Lavender, which is strange because this is not lavender. I'm gonna squeeze it and I assume things will come out. Oh! How cute. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on my cheeks. 
Don't know how well you can see it in this lighting, but I think it looks really cute. So, next. the I'm gonna put on lip gloss really quick. I'm just gonna do my lip because they look so bad right now. This lip gloss that I love, it's the Too Faced High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss in the color Two Night Stand. Now that that's done, I'm gonna use the next product, which is this Ofra highlighter in the shade Star Island. Looks like this, it's really cute. Packaging is really nice, it's magnetic, so like when you close it, it's like, looks like this. And pop it on my cheek. What I'm gonna try is this mascara that ColourPop sent me with this like summer collection. And it's a brown mascara, the volumizing mascara in the shade Brownie Points. And I'm just gonna try this because I'm kind of curious if it's cute or not. Especially since I'm going for like more of a natural like BB cream type of look. This mascara is a really, really good. Like I like this a lot. It's a very like soft and natural looking because it's brown, but it's also like giving me a lot of volume so that is the finished look i know this is super natural um but i just wanted to give you guys some affordable cutesy everyday makeup products i'm obsessed with cute makeup if you want to see more videos like this let me know because i would definitely want to do them i'm sorry but i'm obsessed with how my skin looks right now like I truly, my nose looks, my nose has a big line down the middle because where I didn't, where I stopped the one foundation. And so basically like the middle of my nose has like no foundation on it. But like my skin looks flawless. Like especially on this side with the like cushion foundation, it literally looks so pretty. Anyway, this was a yes for me. So, hope you guys like this video. Have a good day. Bye.